Good morning, everybody. I'm keeping my voice down low because I don't want to wake the dogs up. They hear me walking around. They'll start barking because they think it's time for a walk. I'm setting some quiet time just to myself first. I love this time of day. Listen to those birds. The old farm's coming alive. I can see fresh snow. On Mount Campbell. Wow, that's awesome. Right, I don't want to have chicken for dinner tomorrow, so who's it going to be, hey? Eh? Or should we have duck? One of these chickens is going to die very shortly, and I think it's this black one looks pretty fat. Better catch it first. Yeah, well, it'd be easy to catch ducky, wouldn't you? Mm. They're all pretty fat, actually, because I've been feeding them up. Yeah. Actually, it's just me, so I need a smaller one, really. This little pretty bantam would be nice to eat. Yeah, it's quite a fat one, too. They're all pretty fat. I've got a puppy on my back. That's why I couldn't catch him. You didn't make it very easy, mate. I don't really want him to see me catching a chicken. There you go. We might get you away of the scene first. <laughs> hey, mate, there you go. Yep. Did you have a good life? Hey? I'm sure you did. We'll just let him bleed out there for a bit. So I don't get the axe out and chop heads off because that's a bit mucking around. I just put the chicken's head on the ground, put my foot on it and pull his head off. Happens just like that. One minute he's eating wheat and happy with his mates, next minute he's meat. I know that a lot of uh, people in the city don't like the uh, thought of that. But, um, it's part of the process. And this doesn't even get wasted. Hey Bruno. Eat up. Good boy. Eat up. I wouldn't get too close to Bruno eating his chicken head, mate. This guy hasn't got his sibling to play with anymore. He used to play with her, so now he's just playing by himself. Oh, B's going to have a wee play now, is he? It's really interesting to see that Poe just recently has started to step up as far as guarding the property goes. Oh, he's chasing the paradise duck down there. Like Poe stands here all the time and looks out. She's just, just guarding the whole place. Which is not good because there's a lot of people who walk with their dogs around here. And uh, I don't want a dog fight. So I've got to keep my eyes open on that. Because just like a wolf, she will protect her area. That's all she's doing all the time. She's in guard mode. And she's just started doing it as Bruno's got sort of older. And Bruno's still doing it, but mainly she's sort of taken over. All the time, not wanting to play with the dog, just guarding. Yeah, Bruno's still doing it. He's still in guard mode, but it's like she knows he's getting older and she needs to step up. She never used to. Such an incredible dog. The best pig dog I've ever owned is this one here. I wouldn't do that, mate. Yeah, she is the alpha bitch, but she's also the one that catches all the pork. Incredible dog, aren't you, eh? Very good dog. No, down. Not jumping up on me. Pace is shaping out to be good if he lives long enough. You're smelling his new bum hole that the pig gave him. He's got a rip from his scrotum to his bum hole and his legs. One under his chin. He's in pretty, pretty good repair from the vet. They did a good job. All the dogs hanging around me because they know they're getting their superior chunky. Oh, they love it. Yeah, you're getting it, mate. Chill out. I would get as much of that into you as you can, Pace, before your brother B comes and starts to boss and take it. Because he will. But he hasn't quite worked out where the food is. Are you waiting for yours too, mate? B, up. Not Po. B. B, come. Up. There we go. Okay, well, Pace has got a head start. Oh, you're not going to share it, Pace? Oh, okay. Normally it's the other way around. Right, we'll give you your own bowl here, mate. There you go, mate. You've got your own big bowl yourself. 
it's winter and it's cold so they need lots of food. Oh, you're a good boy, aren't you? You're already getting your house by yourself. It has got a plank to walk up. Here we go, mate. It's a lot of food for a wee pup. You can have as much as you need. He's into that. We haven't forgotten about you, Po. No, we haven't. Good girl. We haven't forgotten about you, mate. You gonna eat it, mate? Good girl. Eat up. Good girl. In your box. Already got yourself on the house, eh? Here we sit, good boy. Just gentle on my hand. Wait for it. Eat up. Gonna leave your gate open, mate. You can come out and just wander when you're finished. Right, we'll go deal with that chicken. Bit of plucking to be done. One of the huts the boys built on a boot camp that we had. Just made out of old slab wood. And I picked up the old floor down here, which is a bit crumpled up, and underneath it, found this little fella here. And you'll be hibernating, won't you, mate? You gonna wake up? You'll be hibernating for the winter. It was a nice, dry place to stay, wasn't it? And I wasn't supposed to disturb you. These guys drop their tails if you too much, but I want to move along because I want to stand here, so I'm just going to touch him gently and see if he's going to go. Are you going to go somewhere, buddy? There we go. Did you walk away and find a new place to go? He's probably struggling to walk. You're going to go very sleepy. I don't want you to lose your tail. That's what they do as a uh, sort of survival mechanism. I need you to just move along a bit, pal. There we go. That's the one. Keep going. Find a place to go and hide. Not there because I mean I'm standing on you there too. Let's put you under some wood. Not under my gum boot, that's not a good place to go. He's a big, big lizard, eh? Nice big lizard. Let's go under here. This is a good place to go, yeah. There you go, now you're talking. Keep going. Go under there somewhere. That's good. I'm trying to stand on him. I'll put this mat down. There's a chimney, and there's a fireplace there. Right, we'll get busy with this chicken and start plucking. So what I've got is a hot boiling pot of water, and this chicken here. I'm going to stick it straight in there. It's going to make the feathers come off very easy. Don't want to leave it too long, we don't want to cook it, just want to get it nice and wet. Bruno knows the process, he's seen it many times, don't you boy? Yes, and you're waiting for some chicken bits, I know. This is a really cool hut. The boys uh, built it themselves and had to sleep in it. And uh, had some fun. That's the floor that the lizard was hiding underneath. Rightio. Just um, be aware of the actual lizards on the ground underneath me, so I'll move this down here because I don't want to burn him. He's gone underneath the table. He's gone down down in there, so I'm going to put this at the far end. And uh, just start plucking the chicken over here, honey. Data's going to come over. From there. You can see this goes there. Look at that. It just comes up easy. Look at that. Piece of piss. Comes off so easy. Nice fat chicken. And my mate Simon has just turned up. You all know Simon, he's a good bastard to help me on the uh, houseboat when she took on water. This is coming off real easy. This is a good bastard Simon uh, that you probably recognise helped me out the other day. When the shit hits a fan, you can rely on your mates. How you doing? Yeah, yeah good, good. What chapter you today? Oh, bit of work, hunting yep. club stuff. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, this um, chicken's plucking real easy, eh? Just a bit of boiling water in there. And uh, I'm being careful not to burn my lizard that I found because he's just on the ground down underneath the table there. Oh yeah? Yeah. He was asleep under this uh, rubber mat I'm standing on. He was under there, like, keeping himself 
for the uh, winter nice and dry and then I come along and straighten it up it's always uh, lizards around here. it's good to see the population eh? Yeah. I'm going to put this yeah. camera down and get stuck in this with two hands because I'm just going at it like a little pussy there we have it folks one naked chicken and all its feathers in this bag here it's a bit rusty but it'll work for you here honey Dad's making shells. Look at that. That is one fat little chicken, completely hormone free. None of the shit they have in it. Let's get rid of that neck. Dog tucker. We're gonna connect that and walk the guts out. I can't really uh, film this process and hold the telephone at the same time, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the knife in underneath there and hit the spine and then cut around the bum hole open it up and just pull the guts out I've got a video on chicken the whole process I'll put it in the link of this one if I remember and if I forget remind me I bought these this is not an ad I bought this at Gun City because Gun City do support me it was 119 New Zealand dollars this is what you get in it I bought it for the gut hook for doing pigs but it's also got this nice little it's almost like a paring knife and it's got a wee meat saw so uh, yeah I like supporting Gun City because they support me. Right, uh, these are, as you can see, brand new. The whole thing has its own sheath. How cool is that? So you can wear that on your hip while you're working on an animal. And what I'm after is this one here. It's kind of like a little a wee sharp knife. I'm going to do the uh, gutting with that. It's perfect. Stage one, I've disconnected all of the, we'll focus there, all the tissue, connective tissue around there and put a line up here and now I'm going to stick my knife underneath that membrane and just pull that guts out I'm loving this little knife I've just whipped off one leg so what I've done is I've taken all the guts out cleaned it out had a few eggs in it wasn't much it's all our dog tucker you can see the eggs there still there's one and uh, I've taken the crop out just going to take this last leg and it'll be done this is an old fridge I've made into a cooler and uh, that's where a chicken's going to stay for 24 hours. 64 then. Well, gonna... that was 64.5 then. Yeah. Right, one shell cut. Dayla is a lot like me. Very, very similar. She uh, is finding it very overwhelming, the fact that her mother's moving back to Austria. <laughs> and her stepfather and she's moving back with me in this house truck and we started building the shelf and then she had a bit of a breakdown and she said I want to go kayaking and I said to her hell yes so I always have resolved problems for myself by going into the mountains or the hills or fishing and freeing my mind up and thinking things clearly and keeping things in perspective and she's exactly the same so what we're going to do is we're going to head on to Motawaka I'm going to take her out she's got a kayak there, I don't know if you can see it and uh, give her some time to readjust and find her balance again, then come back and carry on with this job. I know she's she's struggling. It's a big thing. Yeah. But this will be an awesome space for her when it's finished. I'm looking forward to watching you, honey. I've never seen you do this before. It's about time. We must be overdue for another mission somewhere with the kayaks and the sea. Yeah. Uh. We have to do if you want to go kayak. Get the other tie your on. This is the uh, kayak that my mate Tim Perry picked up for you, isn't it? From Christchurch and brought up for you. Nice one, Tim. Yeah. That's solid as, honey. I could learn something from you. When I put my uh, fishing kayak up on there, it's not as secure as that. That's really good. So, you should always tie your boat the way that you're going to be in it. On oh, the really? River. Yep. Why is that? Because if it's upside down, you'll be upside down in the river. 
<laughs> Why is that work out like that? I don't know, it's just bad juju. Not bad juju, okay. <laughs> right on. I don't want you to be upside down the river, but if you are, you know I'll how to... I'll be upside down the whole time. Well, do you know how to sort it though, if you do? Yeah. Eskimo roll. How many Cumex is the river today? 120. Whoa! Whoa! That's gonna be radical. Can you handle that? Yeah, it's just a wave, so... Uh, you sure? I'll just message my teacher and ask. Yeah, good idea. We well, couldn't help but stop at one of my favourite shops, and Dave is looking at these leggings. Shit. And she's throwing her money away. That's your phone. It's a cool shop. This is the woman that actually lent me the petrol pump. I wanted to thank you. Petrol pump to save my houseboat. I really wanted to film Liz, the woman that lent me her petrol pump for the houseboat, but she was too shy to go on camera. What a lovely person though. Nice to meet her and just say thank you in person. And in their shop they have sushi and I love sushi. Who doesn't like sushi? Mm. What really determines a good sushi it's actually the rice. Oh. Mm. This is a little bit of wasabi. And I'm actually growing wasabi at home right now. Look at some more, this can be really hot. It'll be too hot. It's <laughs> pretty hot. Whoa. And here comes Dayla with dumplings. She had the choice between sushi and she chose dumplings. Yeah. Can I show you dumplings? What do they look like? Ooh. I didn't get any cutlery. It smells nice. Do you have any? I don't know. I don't have any cutlery. I'm eating sushi with my hands, see? Into it today. Okay. They smell nice. What's that you're dipping it into? Uh, I have no idea. Hot? Warm? Mm. Well, that didn't last long. I'm going to put that on top. Then we'll eat more on the way back from class. Mm -hmm. Should we go kayaking now? Mm -hmm. Shit, honey, that's smashing! Are you sure? Yeah. Far out. Right. I'm going to be surfing with the thing, I think. I'll try, I'll try. Jeez, girl. I'm going to get a fat beak down, eh? It's probably mean. Oh, mate. So you like, keep the wash out, you know? I've never seen your skills, so I don't know how you're going to handle it. You, you reckon you got this, yeah? I'm a bit dusty, but you know what? It's going to be sick. Right, get the kayak off. Let's do it then. I'll send it. In case you lose your boat. Do you want a hand? Uh, no, I got it on, so I should be able to get it off. You just make sure you keep it pointed the right way, you're good. You bring it down to what you slide it back. No, it's all good, it's all good, Dad. I got it. You got it, okay, right. Well, I had to put it up. Miss Independence, yeah, okay. Do you want a hand? You sure? Huh? You got it. I'm real gutted that it's just me kayaking as well. Ah, uh, yeah, but your old man's watching you. Ah, my mates would like froth over them. Ah, it's so cool. Well, this is the Motawaka River, and I've done a lot of trout fishing on this river. Done a lot of hunting on those hills up the back there, and it is a serious, uh, I don't know, is it a grade two or a grade three, even maybe? Pretty bloody big to me. What's my job? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe if for some reason I go down the river and never come back, you should call the search and rescue. That's your job. That really makes me feel a whole lot better. Thank you. This okay. doesn't even have any gaskets, but I got it really cheap off trade me, so it's kind of worth it, sort of, even though it leaks. But I'd really like a good one. 
Oh, listen to you putting it's it out. Very there. expensive. So if anybody's got a dry so jacket. Got like seven hundred dollars. <laughs> Always. Can you see where she was going with that? No, she's got a perfectly good second-hand dry jacket. She it's no dead. It's not perfectly good. It's really shit. You'll see in a sec. Hold on. Ripped gaskets. You meant to be. Okay. And so, look, this one doesn't even have gaskets. You know, when I was a kid, we used to go down on tubes with just clothes on in the winter. You got all the gears, your sweet ass. I don't have all the gears. I've got the important gears. I spent good money on like my stuff, like um, like my helmet and my PFD. So yeah. That's the most important thing to spend good money on. So. Nice uh, skirt there, honey. You look like a mermaid with that uh, skirt on. <laughs> my skirt is. Sure is, honey. Gnarly no, is. Darling, just throw it in the back of the truck here, you sweet ass. Close that tailgate, honey. Close the tailgate. Jesus, girl. Right, you're into it. Good luck. Don't slip going down that bank, it's steep. Good. If yep. I don't come back, I've always loved you. <laughs> don't say that. I'll be fine. Don't be a drama queen, not for you. A drama queen? Look at that. Freezing. It's cold, that wind blowing down here, eh? It's freezing. I can see why you don't want to fall off, because if you do, you're actually going to take your skirt off, don't you, to get out of there? No, you roll. Yeah, but no, if you come... But yeah, that's why you don't want to swim. Yeah, you get really cold and it's just such a hassle. Okay, you're into it. Straighten the back up, yeah? Oh shit. Oh! Hey, that was awesome, kid. I didn't expect you to do that. It's really humongous. Yeah, it sure is. So, this is a song really for you parents out there. It's about my three kids. Up early in the morning, before the sun comes up, I like to drink me coffee black from me daughter's coffee cup. She left it here on the bench the day she left home. Now she's got me old Mazda that she likes to roam. Dayla, Dayla, me beautiful daughter, camping and tramping, kayaking and climbing. You're doing everything. You always wanted to, but I tell you, darling, I love you. Yona, Yona, me 19 year old son, now you're rafting Gordon Ham, the boy, I hope you're having fun. He's got no ego, and he's always true, I always did love, always son, did love you. 
Hana, Hana, she's always got a smile. She'll sing and she'll dance. Her time here is worthwhile. I love to see a pretty face. Oh, darling, you're the one. I hope you are heaven. Have lots of fun. And oh, I love you. Up early in the morning, before the sun comes up, I like to drink me coffee black from Dayless coffee cup. She left her here on the bench the day she left home. Now she's got the old Mazda that she likes to run. You're always welcome back here at home. That loves your kids. That was freezing out there, eh? Are you cold? Yeah, my head. I'm okay now. You look like you're cold. Your face is red. That was awesome, honey. I'm proud of you. That was amazing. Come on up, honey. We'll go and get a coffee. months and yesterday I came here and the river was at 40 cumex so I was actually able to get on the wave obviously I lost it and just got a beat down in the hole but today it's at 140 cumex so I found it really difficult getting to the spots I wanted to because there's a lot more water was it really difficult or did you look at it and go shit that's too big no, like I totally would have gotten in that hole if I could yeah I did I, I like ran it from the top but because you kind of have to um, catch the top of the like little boily bits, the wave, the top of the fluffy waves and you just glide across the top of them but oh, you did well, honey. they were all in different places. And no you did awesome. Hey get some dry clothes on you. Yeah? yeah. You're looking energized and refreshed. I always feel good after doing stuff You look like good. This. You look awesome kid. Thanks. So we were working on Data's house truck this morning and it just wasn't happening. She was, I think Data was already unhappy when she came to my house if I'm really as a dad thinking about it but when things are going like shit, change the pattern. So I just said, okay. Well, actually, Daddy said, I'd like to go to the river. And we're in the middle of a job. Instead of me saying, no, we're going to get the shelf up, I said, no, let's go down there. So we came down here, and now her whole energy is completely different. She is fucking awesome. She, I always feel better after Kai. You do, but you just, you just I look. I just feel like, I don't know, as part of the warming up. Yeah. I feel like it's getting warm makes me happy. Well, you're freezing in there. It's absolutely, it's winter time here, there's snow on the mountains and it's cold. freezing. I've got cold hands just holding it's me. It's not that cold in there, it's just the hands on the paddle that gets cold. And oh. going upside down, you get a bit of a, well, like I can go upside down once, but then the second time I get brain freeze. Yeah. But the first time's okay, because then you can recover, but it's just twice, it's just, it gets a bit cold. Yeah, I can imagine. Anyway, what I was trying to say was, if you're having a shit moment with something, or something you're trying to do, whether you're training a dog, or you're doing something with your daughter, or your son, or your partner just go hey let's do this and change what you're doing because it will change the whole mental thing and on that note we're going to go and get a coffee and also just physical activity in general absolutely for the mental health absolutely totally if i find myself sitting at home and i'm just like i don't know what to do like i feel stressed out and it's probably because i haven't been moving around enough so just Go for a run or a walk even, even a walk. That's probably the best advice I've heard all day, honey. Nah, we I'm are going to get a coffee at my friend Mark Kelly's coffee stand right here. My I can see his lovely wife there. Cool. What are you going to have? Chai? Um, I think I'll have a chai because I've already had like a couple of coffees today and if I have too many then I'll just get a headache. Yeah, okay. It's not that good for me. So I normally come in here and talk to your man but uh, he's way pig hunting right now, yeah? Uh, no, he's back now. Oh, he's back, is he's he? Back oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Had a good trip away. Awesome. Did he uh, no injuries with dogs at all? No, dogs are all good. Well, that's all I want to hear. One, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Awesome. I'll see you later. Have a lovely afternoon. This is what we want for your house truck. I cooked for one of these for 12 years. I paid $50 for it 12 years ago. Today they are $90. That's called inflation. Inflation? Actually, it's just called daylight robbery. Yeah, you oh. can carry that. Well, maybe it's called we're getting paid more, so everything has to be more expensive. Yeah, but we're not. <laughs> Cost of living is going really up, not. eh? Everything just goes up. 
does. This is the uh, $90 gas cooker in the house truck, but we have to make sure this is going outside, so I'm going to put a brass pipe out through the truck. Rain is coming. Time to batten down the hatches. Dad has done a really good job of fixing up all the wee bits and pieces. What have you done? Put these in. Yep, new shelf. You put that in, and you've got your cooker down there. Yeah. Okay, not sure about the heat rising above onto that wood. We'll see what it's like and what it puts out. It's going to be ventilated pretty well. We'll check it. Bench. Otherwise, we can slide it back because we've got this gap here. Mm -hmm. We'll see how we go. We'll just check it. But everything's looking really cool. Well, you put the shelf in today too yourself. Yeah. Good girl. You done awesome, Kato. Yeah. Yeah, really good. So we've got upstairs, got power on. Just going to put a caliphant in because the uh, caliphant here is not working. So I'm going to buy one of those online so dad has got a hot shower. So when she's done her kayak and comes back home, she's been out in the water, she can come home and have her own private shower out here without testing dad. Okay? Yeah. Hey, uh, that's our, um, our vlog for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. They're very easy vlogs to make. They're what I call snap vlogs. I'm just... Pause, record, pause, record. No editing. Although Dale has told me, give me instructions, I've got to edit some of her shitty stuff out she did in the kayak. So we're going to look at that and we are actually do some editing for her. That's fair enough. Thanks for supporting me. Consider looking at my Patreon. That's where all my hunting videos are now because they keep on getting flagged on, on YouTube. They just get rid of them. So that's where the exciting stuff is. And it supports what I'm doing and also helps pay for running costs. Taking all the young, I've got 18 young guys and actually 19 just getting on today that I'm taking out in the bush all the time every every weekend we're going away and during the week as well someone's coming dogs are barking on that note uh, be good can't be good be careful we've got visitors no barking I just put the yeah. Up early in the morning Before the sun comes up I like to drink me coffee black From me daughter's coffee cup She left it here on the bench The day she left home Now she's got me old Mazda And that she likes to roam